Oops. Hang on. Elves are after me. Up there. <laughs> With that ringtone and this award-winning beard... That was back in July. Won the uh, styled mustache, natural beard. There's no blending in over this lunch hour for old Santa Claus. <laughs> who sometimes tries to go undercover as Eric Schmidt Motson of Jacksboro. What do you want for Christmas? But kids always know. I want a cotton candy machine. You do. And Santa never minds the attention. 98% of it's fun, you know. <laughs> but those other times can be hard. I'm sorry. Like when, a few weeks ago, Santa was called to the hospital bedside of a terminally ill five-year-old East Tennessee boy. How do you even begin? You have to start off that jolly voice, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. It's, it's, you know what's this I hear you're going to be missing Christmas this year? Yeah, they tell me I'm dying. Really? Well, you're not going to miss Christmas. The elves already had your present already made. We knew you wanted this for a long period, for a long time. Santa gave the boy a toy and these words. When you get up those pearly gates, you just tell him you're Santa's number one elf. You like, I am. You sure are. They'll let you in for I'm sure they'll let you right in. He goes, they will? I says, I know it. So he just came up and he gave me a big hug. I had a hold of me, he just kind of looked up at me and he says, Santa, can you help me? And that's when he passed. He gave the one gift he could. When I got there, is my job was to make sure that he got Christmas. You know? And he says the smiles on kids' faces are what keep him going, since joy <laughs> goes both ways.